みなさん、こんにちは。Welcome to Nihongo with Rory 先生 And today I'll be teaching you the kanji for days of the week. Here's an example of one of the days of the week in Japanese. Kayoubi, which means Tuesday. Now, each day of the week is symbolized by an element. So, this day of the week, Tuesday, is symbolized by ka, meaning fire. Now, there are two exceptions to this Monday and Sunday, which are symbolized by the moon and sun, respectively, but I will get to that later. You'll notice that each day of the week ends in yobi, as shown here. Now, yobi is like the day part. In English, days of the week, like Tuesday or Wednesday. And then the element in front here is like the twos part of Tuesday. But of course, that is not the exact translation. Here is a little mantra that Japanese people use to remember the days of the week. Getsu ka sui moko kin do nichi. So these are the beginnings of each day of the week, starting with Monday and ending with Sunday. This character, Getsu, means moon. Getsu means Monday. Ichi, ni, san, shi. That's four strokes. Remember, Japanese stroke order goes left to right and up to down. Let's do it again. Ichi, ni, san, shi. One more time. Ichi, Ni, san, chi. This is ka, meaning fire, and is used in kayobi, meaning Tuesday. Ichi, ni, san, chi. Ichi, ni, san, chi. Ichi, ni, san, chi. Note that this has four strokes, just like getsu. This is sui, used in suiyobi, meaning water, but it's also used in a lot of other words, so this is a good character to know. Ichi, ni, san, shi. Ichi, ni, san, shi. One last time. Ichi, ni, san, shi. Again, four strokes. This is moku. Meaning wood, and it's found in Mokuyobi, meaning Thursday. Again, another four stroke kanji. Ichi, ni, san, shi. Moichido. One more time. Ichi, ni, san, shi. Saigo. Ichi, ni, san, shi. This is ki, meaning gold in this case, but it can also mean money or metal, and you'll find it in kinyobi, meaning Friday. Ichi, ni, san, shi, go, roku, hachi. Ichi, ni, san, shi, go, roku, hachi. Ichi, ni, san, shi, go, roku, hachi. Second to last is do, meaning earth, and it's used in doyobi. It's an easy one, only three strokes. Ichi, ni, san. Ichi, ni, san. Ichi, Ni, san. And you're done. Lastly, there's nichi, meaning sun. And this is a very common character. It's the, actually the first used kanji in newspapers. So it's not only used in the word Sunday. In fact, all of these kanji have other contexts in which they can be used. Ichi, ni, san, shi. Ich, ni, san, shi. Ich, ni, san, shi. And there you go. But wait, remember in kayobi, 
that there were two characters after ka. That's right, we need to learn how to write yobi. This is the yo part of yobi. And out of all the kanji in this video, I think this is the most difficult one to write. It has 18 strokes, but don't be intimidated. Ichi, ni, san, shi, go, roku, nana, hachi, kyu, ju, ju, ichi, ju, ni, ju, san, ju, yon, ju, go, ju, roku, ju, nana, ju, hachi. Ichi, ni, san, shi, Go, roku, nana, hachi, kyu, ju. Ju ichi, ju ni, ju san, ju yon, ju go, ju roku, ju nana, ju hachi. One more time. Ichi, ni, san, shi. Go, roku, nana, hachi, kyu, ju. Ju ichi, Ju ni, ju san, ju yon, ju go, ju roku, ju shichi, and ju hachi. This is B in yobi, but I'm not even going to write it for you because it's exactly the same as nichi in nichiyobi. And this is proof how the way kanji can be read differs depending on the context because there are many different ways to read this kanji. Sayonara for today, that's all. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me at lorithelinguist at gmail.com. Bye-bye!